Welcome to the whistle tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this whistle in 3D and if you can print it out with a 3D printer it will actually work as a real life whistle. So it's actually usually done in traditional woodwork but it can be printed out, print out in 3D. So let's get straight into it. We're going to make a new file and give it a name. Make sure you set a working directory to save all your work by going to manage, manage session and select a folder for your work. Okay, so we start by creating an extrusion in 3D. Click a plane and start drawing the shape. So the whistle dimension is 70 mil by 20 width, 20 mil width accept and we'll make it 20, 20 mil high and it should be around that size and we're going to give it a chamfer about 2 mil on the 4 long edges and ok now we're going to make the the hole for the middle hole for the whistle. So we'll click extrude, we'll click a plane and we're going to draw a circle here. Now the circle is should be what is the dimension? Okay, so it's 10 mil diameter on the joints. We're going to make that 10 mils here. And we might want to make sure that it is in the middle. We'll make that 10 here and 10 mils here. So with that, the dimension to the center of the circle there, we'll make sure it's in the center. Now we're going to click, click remove material on the other side and click this button to remove material. And we'll bring this down to about 65. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at the whistle drawing. So basically the whistle has a hole in the middle and a mouth for the air to go out. And also there's a block here to to block the air from coming out back where it was. I'll show you how it works, but we're going to make the insert here. So we'll click extrude to create the cut at the top. Click the side face. And there's this button here, it's called project. We can create a line from the plane. So we need a line at the top there. And we draw that down and draw roughly with without dimension. And we can change it here. So here it's 20 mil. And we want to make it 20 mil from there to the end of the incline. And it should be roughly 6.5 here. You click OK now, it won't cut. We need to make this shape a loop, so we need to delete this bit here. So to make a cut, the shape needs to be a loop. And we'll click Remove Material instead of Add Material. And we need that to go all the way through. You can click there or click Extrude in to intersect with all surface. Okay, we're nearly finished there. We need to add one more thing. We need to add a block at the front here. To do that, we use extrude again. And we're going to use project to recreate the circle here. But we've got to leave a small gap for the air to go in. So we draw a line here. And delete the upper segment. And we're going to add material to 20 mils there and accept so basically this is the shape I'm going to quickly talk to you how, how it works so basically when you blow air through here it enters the body and it goes back and hits the block and it goes up so when the two air travels against each other it makes a, a whistling sound so that's basically how it works so we need a block 
So air goes in, it needs to go back, back, and goes up, and that will create the sound. So that's that's pretty much how whistle works. I'm gonna also add, I'll show you how to add wood material and and do a final rendering. So to do a nice rendering, you pick a scene. I like this scene here. Make sure you go to room and click this button to align the floor against your project and pick a material. So there's there's more options here. We're gonna make it out of wood. And I I found pick tick wood um, works pretty well. So we're gonna add instead of to the surface, we're gonna, we want to make that apply that to the whole part so that's how it looks so far I'm going to do a quick render with giraffe we'll see how that looks yep so we need we need to quickly to rotate the texture so it looks along the grain so to do that we go right click edit and I found that it's, if you put on the Y axis and put 90 degrees, it will look more suitable. So there you go, that's our whistle. I'm just going to quickly do round some edges and do a maximum render. So to see to get a nice quality quality image here is the final rendering so Creo has a nice rendering feature um, it's I, I put the rendering on maximum setting and it creates a high resolution rendering looks pretty nice so that's the end of the tutorial here what I've shown you today is how to use the extrude tool, how to add material and also remove material and I also showed you how to pick a scene and set up the rendering with a wood material and quickly render this simple whistle if you have a 3D printer you can print this out and use it as the real, real whistle it will actually work so I made a few of these in, in, a, in a wooden version so it should work in, in plastic as well so if you find this video useful, uh, like the video, leave a comment and also subscribe to, to see more of my videos. So see you later. Bye.